Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and welcome to another Makers with Heart video collaboration series. This month we are highlighting the stamp set called Your Smile. This stamp set benefits Operation Smile. $7 from the purchase of this set goes to that organization. Um, Operation Smile is a nonprofit that provides surgeries to repair cleft lips and palates in children all around the world. So it's a really great charity that Close to My Heart has teamed up with. The photos that I'm scrapbooking today actually come from um, an Operation Smile event that our team did about four years ago. So that's why you see some masks in those photos because that was during the COVID time. And I decided that would be perfect to use for this stamp set. And so I grabbed my For Love of Color idea book and just looking at the colors in my photos, I went off of the smiley face color, which is kind of a lemonade. And the Love of Color book helped me pick out um, the other colors to complement, which I decided was Flamingo, Lagoon, Sundance, and I'm also using Intense Black Ink. So that big smile to me needed a big swash of watercolor behind it. And so I am taking my ink pad and I just squeeze it so I get some of that ink on the lid and then I take my watercolor brush and just swash it on um, as dark or light as I want if you want it lighter you just add some more water um, if you want it darker you can add more um, of the ink so it's a really fun technique to add a little bit of a background and I'm going to do that with the lagoon the flamingo and the sundance I probably should have used a larger water brush um, for this swoosh, but for some reason I have two small sitting on my desk and I have no idea where my larger one is. And maybe I don't have one, I'm not sure. <laughs> but um, this is the one I had on hand, so I'm just gonna add some more water to it to get those bigger strokes of color on to this page. And then I will definitely need to set it aside to dry for a little bit before I go ahead and stamp on it. I'm gonna bring the photos back in so I can place where I want that smile to go. And I'm putting the squishy mat that comes with the stamp set underneath to help get a nice crisp image. Um, spoiler alert, I do not get a nice image. And so that's kind of where this video turned into a tutorial of how to fix your stamped image. So I'm gonna show you a couple things I did because I did not want to redo the swishes and um, truth be told, this was my second time doing it. And so I decided just to make it a learning experience instead. And I'll show you how I fixed it in just a little bit. Um, so while I thought about it, I decided to move on to a different part of this page and I grabbed my cardstock strips. So I have Flamingo, Sundance, Lagoon, and Lemonade. And I'm going to set those out. I believe these strips are like two and a half inches by nine is what I ended up cutting them at, or maybe 10, I can't remember. Um, but I decided, I was trying to play with them to see if I wanted them straight, if I wanted them different heights, and just kind of playing around with those to see exactly how I wanted this page to look. So I still couldn't decide exactly how I wanted to do that, and so I moved on to something else while I pondered. Um, I decided to add some tone-on-tone -tone stamping to the strips of cardstock using the images in the stamp set, and they are so cute. There is a um, sun that's going on the lemonade, and then I will be stamping a cloud on the lagoon, the heart will be flamingo and there is a butterfly that I'll be stamping on the Sundance. And I just want to take a moment to remind you to go check out what other ladies have created. I'm kind of smack in the middle this month. And so yesterday was Katie and tomorrow will be Dawn and then I'll continue till um, all of us have had a turn. And I will put a playlist at the end of this video so you can easily find all of those videos and all the wonderful projects that I'm that they um, have created using the stamp set. So after the stamping was done, I did edge distress each piece of cardstock in its coordinating ink color so that the edges really pop against that white. And then now I'm back to deciding where to put these strips of paper and how to arrange them. And I do mess around with this for a little bit, but I do end up deciding to um, cut 
the flamingo and also the Sundance one down and having some of that pattern below the smile. So it kind of just um, flows down the page. All right, I've gotten to the point where I need to fix that smile. And I did see this somewhere else, so I can't take credit for it. But I am going over the stamped image with a black marker. Just filling in those lines and that more um, solid space. And it's so easy to do. Um, and it makes it really look nice and sharp um, once you get it done. And then after I let it dry for a minute, I decided, you know what, this needs a little sparkle. So I grabbed my black shimmer brush and went over the more solid parts of the smile just to add um, a little sparkle to that. I didn't dare do the little thin lines. I didn't think I was that lucky today. And so I just went over those more bold um, sections of the word. I knew I had to use this rainbow somewhere on my page because it is so stinking cute. So I just stamped it in intense black ink and then colored it in with tri-blend markers. And I will put which ones I used in the description of the video along with the other supplies I use. So if you want to recreate this page, you can easily do that. But I'm going to fussy cut this using the micro tip scissors. And then also I will cut out the clouds and use them on this page. So I had everything laid out and I decided that the strips of cardstock needed a little bit something extra and I did ink the edges and that was great but they just needed a little something more to pop. Um, on the images, or the, on the stamped images, um, there are these little dash marks and so I decided to carry that over into the cardstock strips and I went around each one just adding some dashes with a black journaling pen. So I did mount my photos on black cardstock just so they would stand out a little bit more and now is the fun part to decide where everything goes. I, I did know that I wanted the rainbow on the left hand side of the photo of that main photo um, and but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the clouds. I tried lining them up underneath the rainbow and decided that was a little too much. Um, and then I decided maybe just spread them out a little bit. And I decided to add a few under the rainbow and then a few in the upper right hand corner. So in the upper right hand corner, I felt like this still needed a little something. And so I decided to put my journaling up there. And I've had these journaling strips sitting on my desk for a while and I've actually never used them. So I thought, why not? Let's tell our story using these journaling strips. So like I mentioned earlier, this was a Close to My Heart team retreat, and I was asked to head up the Operation Smile portion of the event. And my goal was to earn enough money for 15 smiles. And I believe this one smile is $240, so times that by 15, and that's how much money I wanted to raise um, and people told me that it could not be done and that I was crazy but I'm like nope we're gonna do it and so I uh, organized a raffle I'm um, a silent auction and allowed people that were not were not even in attendance to donate and we made it we made it to the 15 smiles and it was an amazing amazing feeling to be able to do that so I do have to say I do like the journaling strips. It was really easy just to write on them and then I can cut them down to the size I needed. Um, I will mention I probably should have used a, the thinner strip. They have a, quite a few different sizes on the one sheet and I use the largest because I kind of write big, but um, I probably should use the thinner ones. And then um, after I put them on, I realized I needed to bring them down a little bit. And lucky for me, they do peel up um, carefully and I move them down um, to be more on the colored cardstock. One of the last things that I like to do is add some bling. So I grab my box of dots off my desk and I spread them out because I wanted to see all the colors and all the shapes and all the things I had. Um, that would match this page and I do have a lot of dots but um, I did find the perfect ones on the freshly baked collection so I added a little heart on the cloud underneath the rainbow 
And then there are these really pretty white, um, I think they're from the Evergreen Collection, and they're kind of a white and uh, glitter um, dot, and I thought it kind of looked like little raindrops that just added a little sparkle to those two different areas. So I think this page is done. Just kidding, I'm adding some more shimmer with the clear shimmer brush just on those clouds, and now I think I'm done. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up, maybe leave me a comment, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. If you would like to support Operation Smile, you can purchase this stamp set on any maker's website. There is also an option when placing an order to round up. Every, you know, every cent counts, and so um, make sure you round up on your next Close to My Heart order. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.